Ladies and gentlemen, the next topic on the agenda is the FTTH Council Europe Award Ceremony. The FTTH Award is given to an individual and to an operator that have made an outstanding contribution to FTTH adoption in Europe. Anyone can contribute online, so please don't forget to nominate your champion next year. And the winners are selected by the Board of Directors and by the Committee Chairs of the FTTH Council Europe. For the first time this year, two companies received the FTTH Award Trophy in recognition of rolling out advanced fiber networks. One of our winners in the operator category receives the FTTH Award in recognition for its high investment in state-of-the-art fiber optic networks. At the end of September 2015, it counted nearly 28,000 FTTHB subscribers and reached a coverage of more than 50%. This is one of the highest in Europe for an incumbent. Ladies and gentlemen, the FTTH Council Europe Operator Award is given to Post Luxembourg. So let me welcome onto the stage Mr. Gaston Bonenberger, Director of Post Technologies, and call my president, Edgar Acker, to present the trophy. Many, many thanks to the Council to have selected Post Luxembourg for this Operator Award. We are very, very proud and honored. Indeed, in 1997, our company has made a clear decision in favor of fiber to the home. Today, more than 50% of our households in Luxembourg are connected with fiber. Thanks a lot to my staff for having achieved this challenge. Thank you. Please take the pause. Thank you. The joint winner of the FTTH Operator Award is an alternative telecommunications operator engaged in deploying FTTH infrastructures since 2010. This operator has made an important difference in the Polish FTTH market by significantly growing its fiber networks, particularly in the greater Poland suburban and rural areas where FTTH can greatly contribute to bridging the digital divide. Ladies and gentlemen, the FTTH Council Europe Operator Award is given to Polish alternative operator INEA. And, and let me welcome onto the stage Mr. Mikhail Bakowiak, board member and CFO of INEA. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you on behalf of INEA for this great award. We are very pleased. Uh, thank you to the FTH Council, to the President. Thank you to the founders and shareholders of INEA Group for their determination and belief that this can happen. Thank you to our clients that are using our broadband services. Thank you to those individu individuals that built the network by themselves just to connect to our resources. There are such guys in the world. Thank you to those that sent us complaint letters that their village was not on the project map. Thanks to them, we know exactly why we do it we know that our work is appreciated and is meaningful. Finally I, will, finally, I would like to thank you to 
our employees and to the management team. This is thanks to them, thanks to their creativity, their energy, and their determination, and belief that we can change local communities. In INEA, we believe that uh, in a rapidly changing environment, uh, in the world that is faster and more complex than ever before, we can make a change by using FTTH technology. Over the past few years, INA have connected 150,000 clients. These are households and companies. We are connecting hospitals, local government units. We connect post offices and fire and police stations. And I am here to prove that FTTH technologies really making a difference, is a game changer. People have equal access to information and knowledge. This is uh, something new This offered to people in rural areas. And this is exactly what we care the most in Greater Poland, the region INEA comes from. So, I wish you all inspiring and uh, fruitful time in here. And once again, thank you very much for this award. <laughs> Last but not least, the winner of the FTTH Individual Award has been one of Europe's most active defenders of FTTH for more than a decade now. He is one of the founding leaders of the FTTH Council Europe, elected president of the organization from 2004 to 2007, and then director general from 2007 to November 2015. His involvement in the FTTH Council Europe helped the organization to develop a strong and respected voice in Europe. Our winner is now the managing director of NewGig, the largest rural FTTH network in Austria. It is a pleasure for me to welcome him back onto the stage of the FTTH conference. You will have guessed that the FTTH Council Europe Individual Award is given to Professor Hartwig Tauber. Thank you, Nadia. Ladies and gentlemen, wow, it's, <laughs> it's an emotional, emotional moment for me. In the morning, I was thinking, what a big stage. And for the first time, I'm not standing on here. Now I'm standing <laughs> here, back on the stage. And I can tell you, it was a real great challenge to lead the FTDH Council Europe in the last 11 years. We started as a small group of companies with the idea to accelerate fiber to the home in Europe in 2004, at a time where other people said, this will never come, we really were fighting for it. And today, the organization has grown to one of the largest industry bodies in Europe, and this is really a great progress. And if I get the award today, uh, this progress is not just made by myself, it was also made by the board members, by the companies that were part of the FTDH Council in the last uh, 11 years, and especially by the team, by you, Nadia, and by all the other people working with me in the last 11 years that I want to thank. And I also want to thank the board of directors for this award, uh, for the president. It means really a lot for me, as I really believe, and I'm a believer, you know it, that Fiverr to the Home is the only future-proof broadband solution, and Europe needs to deploy it as quick as possible. You know, for 11 years, I was standing here and on many other stages. I was talking and explained to policymakers, decision makers, journalists, and many other stakeholders why FTDH is important. Now, in my new role as the CEO of the largest FTDH project in Austria, I will be able to prove what I promised in the last 11 years. Thank you again for this award, and I'm happy to say I want fiber 
and I build fiber. Thank you.